Requiem for Grenfell. The eerie structure haunts the clouds. Its charred skeleton arrests the rush hour traffic, confuses the migratory birds who seek a nest amidst the debris. Exhausted neighbours resume their daily pilgrimage past the gallery of faded photographs whose innocent faces contemplate another day in limbo. Their drained hearts trying to tune into the latest episode of this never-ending saga. Corporate manslaughter decree the Masonic suits, giving another turn to this absurd tragicomic libretto. But corporate has no faces and bestows a convenient anonymity to the real culprits and manslaughter falls so short of including the woman, the children, those of other genders who, along with cats, dogs and parrots, disappeared on that terrible night. My strong empathy has a history for I, too, was not accounted for during many weeks in my younger years, forcibly hidden behind a dirty hood in a concealed basement in a distant corner of the world. My comrades missed me in the barricades which we erected against the cruel dictatorship. My loved ones moved heaven and earth in the hope that I would be still alive. They finally found me and freed me and sent me into exile. To these cold islands where decades later I had to witness the sad irony of seeing so many who also came here to escape a terrible past or an uncertain future finding themselves betrayed by indifference and inequality. Ashes to ashes is written in ancient folios. The names of the Gren fallen are also recorded in the Book of Life, a memory that no one can erase, and they will be remembered and honoured with the dignity that they could not find on this side of destiny.